Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on AMD. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So all this here may look like a couple of weeks worth of time. It's actually just the past two days, both Thursday and Friday, broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to do this time frame and it's a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out where levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. Overall, the, the chart has made a very nice move. I mean, when you stop and think about really not that long ago, the price was all the way down here. Now all of a sudden the price has worked its way back up to there. So at this point, it's really kind of all just about measuring, uh, you know, the health of the, the general move. Now the ideal level of support, and we've said, hey Clay, what makes this chart look the absolute strongest going forward? That would be if the price could say up there above $31.15. With that being said though, don't get me wrong, it's not like if the price falls below 31.15, that implies the entire chart's destroyed or ruined or anything like that. But yeah, that would definitely be a, a good sign of overall power as far as the chart is concerned and then offer up a little bit more context. There we go, just wanna make sure I wasn't missing anything. Wanna throw this tread line into play here too, just so you can kind of measure the overall drift of things, drift trend, one of the same. And yeah, ever since the price bottomed out here back on essentially the 26th, and then you know 27th, 28th, that has put in those higher lows, which if you picture those as stair steps, then yeah, you just wanna see stair steps being built in the upward direction. But the, the, the most straightforward way to gauge you know those stair steps in what direction is just watch the trend line. As long as the price remains above that trend line, then that implies that because it's an uptrending trend line, that the overall you know drift is in the bullish direction. So now I realize that nobody wants to see it drop down there and I'm not saying that's what's going to happen. My point is that, you know, 3115 is not a do or die level. So if the price falls below there, you know, there's still plenty of other areas of support down below. Now, what about levels of resistance going forward? And as of right now, the price is definitely hanging around of a very, uh, you know, historic level in terms of where the sellers have smacked it down several times now. And that level is right here at $31.85, so not exact, but I think we can all agree that from a general price congestion point of view, you can see it acted as resistance right there. Knock down the price, knock down the price. Fast forward into yesterday, knock down the price, knock down the price. So I'm not saying 31.85 can't be broken. I'm just saying according to the story that's being told to us here via the chart, apparently the price is really gonna need to bring its A game if it's gonna be able to not only fight above that level, but be able to stay up above it. But all in all, very nice recovery the past few days of the week. So we'll see if the bulls can build upon this momentum or not next week. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.